what's for dinner is probably the most asked question around the world or at least it was in my house for many many years one of the meals that i started making for my family kind of to try to clear up some odds and ends was an alfredo pasta bake and we've still been enjoying it many years later so i thought i would show you how we do this because it's a way that i can kind of get rid of some leftover bags of pasta that don't have quite enough for a full meal, mix them together a little bit, and still make something quick and simple for my family. So I'm using our Alfredo sauce, or mix. Um, you can mix this with whatever milk or dairy substitute that you require, um, but I'm going to be mixing it with a cup and a half of milk today. So it's just to make the Alfredo sauce. Here we go. Now, so that you didn't have to watch me boil pasta, which let's face it, is as interesting as watching paint dry, um, my pasta is pretty much done behind me on the stove. So while my pasta was boiling and getting cooked up, I cut up uh, some red onion and some pepper that's gonna go into my pasta bake. And it's also a great way to get rid of last minute half of an onion or you know half of a pepper that you've got sitting around. Um, it's a fresh meal but it clears up some of your odds and ends. So let's get this a little mixed up. And I'm going to cook this in the microwave, which makes it fast and simple for me. So if you've never put milk in the microwave before, please learn from the mistake that I made the first time I did this. It will obviously, not obvious to me, obvious to you, it's going to bubble up and bubble over. So we're gonna do this in uh, sets. One minute to start, and I'm just gonna stir my pasta here. So my pasta has been cooked in our 12 cup pot. So that's this one here, it's got a nice little pour spout. And the way that the handle sticks out, it actually doesn't get hot while everything else is cooking. There's my pasta in there. Um, but what you can enjoy with it, or at least that I do, is the, there we go, got it on both here, the way that the lid goes, I'm going to come in a little closer, because I'm going to use it in a second, but you won't be able to see me at the um, sink. So you've got tiny little and bigger holes on this lid, so that you don't need to use a strainer. So I'm going to strain the water out of my pasta after I stir this, because I don't want to lose track of what's happening with my Alfredo sauce. It takes between three and four minutes, depending on your microwave, to thicken up, but you'll know exactly once it's done. So I'm going to bring this out, give it a bit of a stir. I'm not, I don't think you can see from there, but it's still absolutely just as thin. It's still just milk and powder. So we're gonna give this a good little stir. Apparently my dog is hungry. I'm sorry if you can hear him in the background. He likes dinner when we like dinner. There we go. All right, so I'm going to strain my pasta. Give me one quick second here. while I'm dumping this, just to be on the safe side. Once you do it once, you know never to overflow that thing again. Perfect. All right, so my pasta is all strained and drained thanks to my lid. But if you're doing potatoes, eggs, um, I know some people when they've had to do like large batches of loose leaf tea, you can use the tiny little holes for when you're actually pouring the tea out. So it comes in really handy, far less need for a strainer. There are still times where you need one, don't get me wrong. It's just less dishes, the better. All right, here we go. So if you check the sodium between the Epicure Alfredo 
and one that you're probably eating at a restaurant or buying from the grocery store, you're going to notice that there's a huge difference um, in the sodium levels. So if that's something that you need to watch for your family or that you want to watch for your family, definitely check it out. It's absolutely a healthier version um, for you to switch and just add whatever milk or dairy substitute works for you. Um, I've got it cooking up in our four cup prep bowl, which also comes with a handy lid. So if there was ever anything that you were gonna have leftovers of, we won't for the Alfredo sauce, but if you were doing something that you would, you can easily just put the lid on it, pop that sucker in the fridge. Boop. Pop that sucker in the fridge and uh, you're good to go. The next time you're saving yourself needing an extra pasta container in the fridge and one extra dish that you don't need to use. Um, so I've done my pasta in the 12 cup pot. Just a heads up, we also have the eight cup multi-purpose pot. Um, what I really like about these, and I can't really show you up close with the one that I'm currently using, but this one here. So you can see it's got, can I tilt it? There we go. It's got the markings down the sides for how many um, cups or liters you've got in here. So it's got the measuring kind of built in for you, which makes it fantastic when you're doing like your own broth and things like that. There's my third minute. There we go. Now it's starting to get nice and creamy. And I'm only doing it 30 second intervals to save myself from potentially having a milk volcano again. All right, so while that's doing its thing, um, I'm gonna put some pasta in my container. So I've done enough to do this size, but you could do this as large or as small as you wanted. Um, you could definitely keep um, leftovers or freeze it if you needed to as well. Oh, everything is beeping. Alright, so I had some leftover meatballs. This meal itself is vegetarian friendly because I'm not actually putting meat in the pasta bake. I had a few meatballs left. Not everybody is home for dinner tonight. So I'm cooking up the meatballs to kind of just throw on top because it is a pasta dinner. Um, but the meal itself that I'm making is vegetarian friendly. I'm not actually putting meat in it. You still good? All right, I'm gonna watch this thing like a hawk for the last 30 seconds, so I apologize that my back is gonna be to you for a second, but I just wanna be careful. Um, but once this is done, my Alfredo sauce is totally made. I'm gonna be sprinkling a little bit of our roasted garlic in, just to give it a little extra something. Um, as you heard me say before, it is low on the sodium and so just because of how we're used to things tasting from restaurants and jars you do sometimes notice that there is a bit of a lacking sodium um, flavor to certain things alfredo sauce for me is kind of one of them but i don't want to add salt in <laughs> um, we don't really use salt for 95 percent of what we do and so for me to add the salt Sorry, I need these. For me to add the salt just seems not worth it. So I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic because garlic is actually pretty good for you. So there we go. I've got my sauce done. And there we go. I'll bring it over to you so you can take a quick peek. So I do this purposely as an Alfredo pasta bake um, because I love Alfredo sauce. All right. I wish you could smell it. At some point, somebody will inv invent smell vision There we go. There's my pasta sauce. Um, but what you could do also if you're more of a red sauce person, there's our marinara sauce uh, seasoning. All you need is diced or crushed um, tomatoes and you mix this in. 
So you have instant pasta sauce, whether it's for pasta, pizza, or anything else that you would use a red sauce for lasagna, but that's pasta. Um, you could absolutely go ahead and use that. So it's super simple, and then you don't have to worry about it going bad. Just grab your tomatoes whenever. They seem to last quite a while, because we use them often. Um, and then you can just make it whenever you need it. All right, I'm gonna put a little more in here. Now it's only me and my daughter for dinner tonight. And she does not so much like the peppers and the onions. So I have to do my best to keep all of the goodies on one half. And anything that's left over is not a problem. It's just going to go in the fridge. So all I'm doing is sprinkling peppers and onions on, somewhat leaving her half plain. Add some Alfredo sauce. I don't want to use that one. Let's use this. I'm just kind of moving it around a little bit, make sure it gets into all the little nooks and crannies, because it's only halfway down. You could simply just do it right from the top down. I just like to add all the goodies in the middle too. And I pre-shredded some, blah, blah, blah. those were words, right? Pre-shredded some cheese while my um, noodles were cooking as well. So we got that, bring the sucker off over here. Here we are. probably won't be able to see but in here I have rigatoni noodles macaroni noodles all coming together in love and harmony because they were the last of the bags and I needed a way to use them so that's what I've done uh -oh. yes okay I thought I flipped it, and then if I put all the stuff on the wrong side, it's gonna be everywhere. No, nope, we're good. I will feed you when I'm done. Yes, I will. Oop, I just dropped a pepper. You can have that, you like peppers. So it's just simply whatever pasta you've got left over, cook that up completely. Um, and then the Alfredo sauce, or if you prefer the marinara, the marinara is done with diced or crushed tomatoes um, and then a couple tablespoons of the seasoning mix in my case I've chosen to use the Alfredo packet it came in this month's epic box which is our monthly subscription box this handy dandy sucker right there um, it comes with uh, seven dinner um, meal solutions so as well as some recipe ideas um, but as soon as we saw the Alfredo it was like yes this is what we're doing with it we have not had this in a while and I knew I had pasta left over so it was perfect um, but it comes with a couple of different meal packs sometimes a surprise something completely brand new this was just happy to open and get an Alfredo so that I can get rid of some pasta and some peppers and have a family favorite that I kind of forgot about the last few months. Get out. All right, we're gonna push that a teeny bit. I do not have the biggest kitchen, as you can tell, but it certainly does what I need it to do. So no complaints here. If I can make a quick and easy dinner for my family, that's really all I need. Apparently I also need to feed my dog, but that's a separate. He knows our dinner time is his dinner time. All right, get those out of the way. I'm gonna add some extra cheese on here. I know, you're hungry, so am I. So 
So because the pasta is already cooked, the Alfredo sauce is already cooked and the peppers and onions technically don't need to be cooked. All I'm going to be doing is putting this in the oven for the last few minutes that the meatballs actually need to cook so that I can melt the cheese on both the layers and just kind of get everything to be a little crispy, crunchy on the top um, and super gooey and yummy in the middle. So I will let you go so that you don't have to watch me watch the oven, um, but completely vegetarian friendly meal right here. It's just pasta, whatever veggies you like and whether you want to do the Alfredo sauce, which I forgot to add garlic to next time. Um, not a big deal. I was just in the mood for garlic, but maybe I'll add some garlic bread. Um, but just the Alfredo or the marinara sauce, your pasta, um, and whatever veggies you want. Completely vegetarian meal, or it doesn't have to be. You could add some uh, extra meatballs if you had some sitting in the freezer that you know you've got to eat up or get rid of. I hate throwing away food. So this was a good way for me to kind of condense some of the leftover things that we had. All right, I've got three, two, one. All right, the meatballs need five more minutes to cook. So the pasta is going to go in for that same five minutes. And I will take a picture and show you how it turns out. That is what's for dinner. Have a great night.